Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to another pre-season winter update. Um, now that the car's back, I've been securing some various paints and things. And uh, this weekend we're gonna start doing a little bit of, a uh, little bit of painting to uh, get the chassis all back to normal. Well, so it's not, so it's protected from all the elements, whatnot. Um, so hopefully it goes well. I've not really had to paint a chassis before, so see how we get on. As you can see got all the axle apart on this side where the work was done we've got a nice new bracket down there replacing what was broke and we've also had an additional bracket here and an additional bracket there put in just for added strength so the idea will be to basically paint the exposed sections that's been welded. We'll have to take off this plate here as well to get around the back of it. Um, and basically just get the primer on, get the color on, got some clear coat, and then uh, see how far we get. All right then guys. So we've just finished all of the prep work. Um, axles all removed and uh, done masking all around the chassis in uh, certain spots where I feel like it needs attention and then leaving the exposed areas has been welded ready for paint um, done my best to cover all the harness up out of the way so I can sort of get in in all the areas and uh, get in on the uh, welding and whatnot um, so, got to get ready for the primer now. So let's see how we get on with it. Right, so the first coat of primer is on. Not as easy as I um, thought it would be, but kind of expect it not to be easy. After all, painting is, is a very good skill um it's only the first coat but you know i'm only using these brake hands and whatnot but uh yeah. using some of this stuff from Genolite, and then also bought this little adapter to turn it into a bit of a spray gun i think that's helping me a bit there um but yeah finding i've had to mask a few more bits like this bit here to make sure I'm not getting anything anywhere. Um, suddenly realized I had to put the shaft um, under something as well while I was doing it. Um, but yeah, see how it goes. Put another coat of primer on and uh, probably leave it then till tomorrow and lay some, uh, some top coat. Good morning guys, it's the following day and we've let the top coat, well, we've let the primer dry overnight. We've laid um, three coats of primer so far. Uh, today is gonna be top coat day. So we've got a bit of uh, Tempest Gray, which is gonna be the color that is the closest that we can get to the chassis color. Uh, we're gonna lay probably two to three coats of that today and then let that dry over the week. Um, I've ordered some sparkle from Custom Colors um, so we can match the sparkle on the rest of the chassis. So we'll spray that during the week. Um, and then after that, we'll then start laying the clear coat um, probably by next weekend. So stay tuned on this one, but let's get started. So 
so we've now i've now laid two coats so far and i gotta say compared to the original chassis color and this new color that we've managed to find as a match i'd say actually it's a pretty good pretty good match so i'm really really happy um laid two coats of top coat so far it's all looking quite quite good um i'm thinking maybe lay a third one and then i'll let it dry now until i get delivery of the sparkle and uh lay a coat or two of that down on top and then uh Hopefully by the end of next weekend, we'll have some clear coat on there and uh, you'll be ready to uh, assemble again, which is really great. Yeah, it's all really, really happy with it. morning everybody it is the following weekend now the following saturday so we've had a chance for all the uh, original color to dry off so it's all looking pretty nice now um we've had a i've had a delivery of this nice custom cars sparkle paint so use some of that today to uh put on the chassis so it matches the shine that the uh, current one has um sort of see the sparkle in the original powder coat so probably put on and probably put on a couple one or two layers on there just to see how it goes don't want to put too much on otherwise it will be too noticeable but uh let's crack on and then we can get onto the clear by the end of the weekend Okay, everybody, the uh, day's been quite long. Put the fan heater going, try and keep things a bit warmer so everything dries a bit more. Uh, been busy with the sparkle over today, and then we've basically gone and done four coats of sparkle in the end, as it, was, um, it wasn't it was as uh, prominent, this particular one, as I thought it would be, so it was okay to do a couple more layers. Uh, and since then we've also done four coats of clear so at the moment um, it's now going to dry um, for the next 12 or so hours but yeah no overall reasonably pleased with how it's turned out it's not going to be perfect at all um, but it's a heck of a lot better than what it was after the uh, work so you know I can be pleased in that the first time I've done this is turned out not so bad so you can sort of see the sparkle in it um, hopefully once it's all dried off properly um, overnight then uh, we can start ripping off all the um, tape and then it'll be ready for when the new axle plate is finished off being cut and then we can put the axle all back together and then it's just a case of readjusting the wiring back into the wiring tray um, yeah, some of it had to be pulled outward to do the work um, but other than that then it's just a case of waiting for the engine to be done and then uh, start assembling back together again 
so i think this will do for the vlog in this particular one and uh yeah it's uh it's looking good so we'll uh see you in the next one so thanks again guys for watching another video make sure to like comment and subscribe and have a great day